today we're scrapbooking with six by six papers and six fall photos. I've been inspired by RTS scrapbooking channel and the six by six paper series. Let's see what we can do with these six by six papers. Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper, where you'll find inspiration to scrap your stash and get some pages done. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the fun ideas. Down in the description, I'll link to RTS Scrapbooking and the intro video to this series. We're using the Scrapbook Generation class by Allison Davis. It's called the 6x6 Paper Pad class. Over at RTS Scrapbooking, in the description of her intro to this series, there is a discount code and you can save some money if you decide to buy the class. In this video, I'm going to focus on using 3x6 strips by cutting the 6x6 in half. I'm amazed at how quickly a page can go together when you use some beautiful papers as your embellishment. I want the focus to be on the photos, so first I'm going to arrange them and then I'll decide how to embellish with the paper strips. For this layout, I want the focus to be on the photos. I could use a whole 6x6 six six piece of paper here, but I've decided to combine and use a couple different papers cut in half. My first selection was to use the green paper with the acorns, and then I changed my mind. I decided that I wanted to turn these horizontally, and eventually I switch out that acorn paper for another pattern altogether. I just didn't feel comfortable with those acorns, and the other pattern appealed to me, my eye better. For the second page, I'm using three horizontal photos and one vertical photo. The series of three horizontal photos makes this page fall together quickly. All I need is a three by six strip to kind of embellish the page. I really liked the look of that yellow gingham paper on the right hand side. I think that's why I ended up switching out those green acorn, the green acorn paper, because the other pattern paper I replace it with also has the yellow gingham as one of the patterns. I think it kind of helps the page blend together and feel connected to have those repeating patterns. I'm only matting one photo in this two page spread. It's the photo that I want to stand out the most. Since this is a fall focus page, I decided to get out a leaf punch and punch some leaves from this particular three by six. I will back this three by six with another piece of the yellow gingham so that the leaves kind of look like they're yellow. And then the punched leaves will be embellishments across the page in various places. I think this makes for a nice embellishment and everything works together well. It's time to adhere everything to the page. I won't make you watch me adhere everything to the page. Now it's time for the leaves. I think they make a nice visual interest to the page and kind of draw your eye across the page. Finally, I need to make a page title. It's gonna be very simple. It'll say Fall 2019.
You may be wondering about the other 3x6 papers that I cut at the beginning of this video. I plan to use them on my next two page spread and that video will be coming out on Sunday. So here are some final looks at the page and I hope that you guys keep on scrapping. We'll see you again real soon. Bye now.